So, uh, good morning everyone. Welcome to the stream. Just checking, I've got the sound rolling. Yeah, looking good. So, yeah, first of all, um, welcome everyone and hello. Uh, Beats for breakfast, let's get rolling. Hopefully if you've watched a few by now, you'll know that the, the aim is to make music the first time I wake up. Um, the first moment I wake up so that I'm in that dream state beats for breakfast that's why I always look so tired oh. but yeah let's get rolling make the beats and get my head out of the way okay not sure what I'm going to do I'm going to start with this because it's the only idea I've got Sometimes I use the MIDI packs from some of these. And I just put the, the get these as like a beat starter. for a little start of beat. I mean, I don't tend to use template grooves because, like, you know, I want to make the beats myself. But, you know, at some point I think, well, you know, give it a little starting point and I'm going to morph it up so much it's going to become my own. So why not? towards um, audience perspective on the drum panning recently. I know I keep saying that every time I pan drums, but I am.
that's a little distorted break. I like that. Layer that in as a little vibe underneath. distortion has made it really um it's really grimy I guess I just like chopping all the beats so that I can control that a little bit more with a fade you know well so that it doesn't interfere with the actual transient of the drum and I could probably remove the fade for the hat. because it kind of just adds nicely to the stereo image a little bit as well just hearing a bit too much stereo information from this distortion uh, low shelf yeah sure I'm starting to hear some variations on the snares that phase with this so no alts now I'm just gonna have to deal with certain little phasey ones actually because I like the variations what alt does is it, it like um, to keep the beat interesting. I think addictive drummer gives you on each hit, it gives you a slightly different snare sample, which can sometimes cause variations you don't want. But today, the variations are keeping this interesting, so I'm just gonna have to roll with it, even though the, at the detriment of some potential phase issues once or twice. But rarely. Do is give that a bit of a boost. Today I might use the Acme again. I've I've pulled this out the other day. I haven't used it for a long time, so I'm gonna give it a little workout at the moment. Ooh.
to do is I'm going to bounce out each kick and snare uh, separate so I've got a little bit more control. Yeah, nice. So this would be uh, kick one. This would be snare one. Just, oh, you see that first one has come out a bit stronger than all the others. That makes me think I need to bounce the groove twice and take the second half um, to let the compressor have a moment to just like calm down a bit. Ah, yeah, you can see now that's that snare is going to be a bit a bit more. Um, it's going to play ball a little more, and I might do the same. Just to be prepared with the kick as well, just in case the first one's a bit wonky. Um, so, did you? Just because I'm I'm using quite a lot of compression, so sometimes you need to make it. Um, you need to make sure that the compressor, like on the first hit, it's going to do like a big, and then by the you get to this point around here, the second half of the groove, it has it's calmed down quite a lot, and um, it's under a bit more control. And I'll do the same for the hats as well. But just listening back to it now all separate I think I like the way the compression worked on everything now that I've done all this work let me just ch check and compare yeah it might have to be a whole break because I but then at least I've got that for control on layers now even though there's variations which is a pain but I think Let's just compare them, see if it works. See which one's better. That's so tricky to decide. Do I like this one? Has like a everything's really open. The snare sounds like it's going ba ba, like really opening up each hit. This one really puts the snare like ooh, like in the pocket. Like, do you know what I mean? It just sucks that snare right in and just, they're both good. We all work together. Oh, that sounds sick. Wicked. Maybe less kick. No.
me give it 6 dB less. G-sharp as well, nice. A little bit of a different key. G-sharp. So... sounding quite nice I just want to process them all up a bit more this would be tops but I've also got that individual control so I'm pretty happy it all kind of worked together and I'm pretty happy I've got this kind of distorted layer as well because that gives it a little bit of vibe and then I've got the parallel compression so it's kind of like you know yeah perk or other like I want to create an all all addictive bus you know but this lap this will probably have to do feeling that I should send this all to breaks because all of it is part of the break and it's going to allow me to when I add other things later it's going to allow me the freedom to do something to my master bus without master drum bus without taking up because that's a lot of processing Processing to not have control over, like, and putting kicks and other snares into that bus, that's going to be crazy without, you know, control.
feeling that. driving it a bit into the compressor I'm a tiny bit worried about how big my kick drum is because it feels like it's eating up like loads and loads of room but like it should definitely be out before this snare hits so let me just cut that on every snare oh but the snare changes doesn't it yeah okay so it's going to have to be just cut in for a minute Now I'm going to get rid of addictive because I feel like it's just slowing everything down for a minute. And you as well. Yeah, just to kind of get um, some room so that the kicks... Oh, actually, this offbeat snare didn't interfere with the kick. Just some room in that kick drum because I feel like it's going to bleed over into the snare and it's going to cause me a lot of problems later. So I'm just looking for... But, you know, say for instance, this part here is especially the part that I'm looking to just sort of give some room for the, you know, the tail of the snare. The one that's compressed, I'm not as worried about because sort of the compressor would have melded them all together and it's a bit too late now. I know other people will be screaming, no, but, you know is what it is but with these ones where I've got some control I'm going to do a little something about it and you just see now the the snare drum doesn't have to compete with the tail of the bass the kick drum the bass drum especially on that hit which is good then I can do my little fades in and fades out oh look. and that's going to uh just maybe give that snare a little tiny bit more room. So there's my fade out, tiny little fade in. I do have, and I should have done this before, I think it's Slice of Transient Markers. Yay! There you go. It's kind of worked. That saved me time. I don't know why I don't do that all the time. Sometimes it's really unpredictable, though. Uh, slice of transient markers again. Oh, yeah, I've got the shuffles. I cannot forget those. leave the snare exactly how it was um, yeah because I don't want to forget all those shuffles I was going to cut the snare out of the way of the kick as well but I don't think they'll be as conflicted oh yeah got me distorted buddy This is uh, distorted drums. It's 
snare kick. This is hats. And this is hole and break. I'm starting to really like that. I don't want to get too caught up in layering up the drums. I want to develop something else. So I don't just spend the whole day on uh, beats. So let's uh, bring in something. We're in G sharp as well. What chords does that give me? It gives me... Uh, Let's work this out. Uh, so it's going to be G sharp minor, two, three, four, C sharp minor, D sharp minor, A sharp diminished, A, C sharp, E. Oh, sorry, A sharp, C sharp, E. Yeah, A sharp diminished. Uh, B major, C minor, D minor. Is that is that right? It doesn't feel quite right. B will be B D sharp F sharp. B D sharp F sharp. B major. E will be E G sharp B. Um E G sharp B. Yep, and F sharp will be F sharp A sharp C sharp. Yeah, that sounds right. Uh, F sharp, A sharp. D sharp. Minor. Oh yeah, he's F sharp major. That took me so long. Yeah, they're, so they're my chords that I can use, which is quite cool. Um, so let's try and get some, some virus sound in. Yeah. Someone asked on a comment, I've got the virus TI. Um, I find is really nice because it rolls in with, um, with the sequencer quite well um, yeah and gives me like some nice some nice starting points which is really cool so let's go uh, all for today see what comes up of sounds. That's the sort of sound I was looking for. Something just inspiring, simple, clean. Yeah. 
Chris, nice. just found the envelope it was rising really nicely but then it was getting too dominant so just bringing that sustain and decay down just like it rises in and then just sits in it doesn't rise in and then dominate you know Imagine these breaks building up over time. Possibly, we'll see. is if you do find something that's kind of like what you want you can like use sound match to get closer which is really cool that's kind of what i want but with release <laughs> where's the really um, yeah
special tap. Sounds like I wanted it to. Gotta save that because that's sounding cool. And uh, I just sometimes I think I'm over. I'm guilty of like overplaying a part. So you know that part had so many gaps in it, but it's room for me to be able to like blend in other sounds later and sort of layer them underneath and create a whole a whole track that moves rather than just two sounds dominating the whole soundscape. <laughs> And I do like these. Maybe this is doing too much. Just fifty percent. Just ridiculous. I love that. off it sounds way better oh the stereo is just so big but I'm worried it's gonna be too big later so I might just trim the sides just real gentle and push up the mono a little bit instead Sit together. 
thing I like about the virus is it makes it makes me record it down you know which I really like because it makes me sit and listen to like the sound the whole time that it's got to be in and if I get bored I can get on the the dials and start to ed edit it just a little bit and keep it interesting but I think this is supposed to be just a big epic pad you know And it's in phase most of the time. You can see really good phase and then just dancing about a little bit. You can hear those little blah 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 blah. It's beautiful. Wait for that to die out on the tail. Yeah, nice. Well done, Mr. Virus. Uh, virus pad. Oh, yep. That's the vibe. That's how I want the bass to go. Boom, boom, boom. Maybe I do actually. Just a really simple. Boom, boom. Really simple sub. This boomy and billowy. Boom, boom, boom. I can hear that now. A big old release, but mono. Yeah. Thank you. 
give this a little bit of that upper upper harmonic kind of sizzle, but nothing too much. Just trying to add a little bit of extra kind of upper harmonic to the bass. Um, so, oh yeah, and it's all about typing semitones in this box, I tell you. Sure, that's one way. Just adds that attack to the, the front of the, the bass. Yeah, nice. For a little simple sub, works, you know. Oh, maybe I don't need that much attack. Seems to be interfering with some of the things. So let me try 12 semitones. Let me try zero. Yeah, the even though the thingy was nice, the pit, and that's why I'm trying to build them together.
slightly different vibe there. Um, let's record you down then. <laughs> to this group for so long, you know. Bam, bam. Yeah, that's a vibe. <laughs> really nice. Yeah, beautiful. And maybe that could, I could turn this one down just a tiny bit as well once this is done. Just so it blends in a little bit more. just got to go like down here because the baseline and all that they need they need incorporating in a nice way is that a bit of hat yeah I'll keep that hat in snare don't need you distorted drums you can stay in hats you can be sure of in
just not speaking to each other. So it should be like, boom, 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 something like that. But just so it speaks, you know. Yeah. give it like a boom as well. crazy bit more of a musical bass line today that's going to develop I think and then I'm going to want another one here for sure some room for a new part to come in now. Sometimes what I like to do is just put this um this part that I've already made, like the part itself, but just put it on a different instrument and just try some different instruments and see what comes out of it. Because that way, like the timbre and the change in the space and the sound design changes, but the musical idea, you've just got that one idea and you're making the most out of it, which I really like. Um, so let's go um, ambient. Conference of Robots. That is something I never would have thought to do, but it's going in. But with much more verb.
good and I like it. Let's put a Valhalla on that. just really weird it's different and like you know it just develops this sound without actually having to develop like a a new idea because sometimes I think that idea was cool so just like develop it and see what you can build around it Oh, you have to hit it really soft, that's why it went weird. Then I have to juice up the gain a bit so it comes in nice. Not quite feeling this sound. It's got to be something to take over from that virus pad, so it's got to be quite nice.
that's pretty expensive. Although I didn't want to have another pad. It might end up that way. expecting to play that line but it's a nice little happy vibe so yeah a compressor because I'm trying I like everything about it but it just does not sit where I want it to so with a little bit of gentle compression I think you know real slow attack and release strong ratio should do it That's all about I've got time for today. I just looked at the time, it's seven o'clock, so time to roll. But yeah, I think today actually I'm really happy with this. I've got kind of an idea down. Um, you know, I've got this like little intro, this beautiful pad, and I like that build. And I like breaking down to that was just an octave down. And it incorporating the bass in a really slow way, because it felt like just bringing the bass in didn't work today. So I like this new kind of arrangement sort of a drop on 81 that's quite cool normally my drops all look 49 so having that extra 32 or whatever it is is that 32 yeah that's going to be that's going to be cool now i've got kind of the first three 16s of the drop which is really nice uh, i'll only need another three and then the breakdown and it'll only be short because of this long intro and yeah tunes kind of writing itself a little bit which which i always like so yeah, I think the turning points for today's tune was um, having the drums in and out of um, separate and as a group in the compressor and then layering both of those together with the distorted layer gave me a really cool drum sound. And then I think, because oh, I was chatting to my pal Craig and he said to me about don't, don't develop one idea too much without developing the others at the same time. So before I got too into layering the drums and finishing them up, I started making the bass line. And before I went too far with the bass line, I listened back with the drums and I was like, oh, that pitch wheel doesn't work. Then I was developing the chords and kind of switching back and forth between everything so the tune grows as a whole. 
other ways I've, I've been guilty other days of just making drums and drums and drums and drums and then being like okay these are great drums but now nothing fits with them whereas I kind of left these drums when they were half ready and it's built up quite nicely so I think that's a cool thing that I've kind of I'm going to reflect on today and like develop basically um as always if you've watched this far if you could um like and share and subscribe and tell people about it and leave comments in the chat i'd love to talk about production stuff and yeah so it, 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 let me know and i'll catch you all tomorrow nice one all right <laughs>